Welcome to Beaver Stadium, home of the Penn State Nittany Lions, one of the largest crowds in college football assembled here. And a rivalry like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, the tradition and the history, but right here, right now, there's great intensity. This is why these guys came to these schools to play in games like this. We'll see the number four team in the country, the Ohio State Buckeyes. Take on the third ranked team, the Penn State Nittany Lions. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. Start us off. Bringing it out, it's Martin. Solid coverage here. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. So Penn State's with less than ideal field position as they come out for their first possession. Here we go. You can feel the juice in this building. What a privilege, Kirk, to be part of this rivalry game. Well, there's nothing like rivalry games. You know, no matter what you've done all year, you get your opportunity to win this game today, and it can change everything. Even surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. And there's the tight end who shows off his hands. Second down. Second down after that short completion. Looking for some space. It's Singleton. They bring him down right at the 20. So let's see what they like here on third and short from inside their own 20. Important to pick up this first down. That one is incomplete. The defender was right there, and it brings up fourth down now. Gosh, I, I just love to watch this defense fly around. Great job here on third down. Look at it. You're on the road. Things are going against you early in the game, and you block all of that out, and you're running around with confidence making plays. The Nittany Lions will have to kick this away. The offense will have to punt for the first time this afternoon. See if he can make something happen with the return. And the returner will be brought down. So Ohio State's offense comes out for their first possession today. If there's one guy on this defensive side, Kirk, who can be a game wrecker, it's this elite pass rusher, very much on the quarterback's mindset. Yeah, Chris, but it's going to be very tough. This quarterback does a nice job of moving around in the pocket, and also he's going to have an awareness of exactly where this guy is and have a clock in his mind about how quickly that ball needs to get out. Boy, another great throw and catch here by the Buckeyes, and it just makes you think back how far this offense has come from the days of being known of three yards and a cloud of dust to now being one of the more efficient passing offenses in the country. Year after year, you go back to Cardell Jones and J.T. Barrett, all the way back to Troy Smith, and most recently with C.J. Stroud and Justin Field. Just another great quarterback that we're watching here today for the Buckeyes. underway and this home crowd is fired up and ready to make a difference today scanning the field it's Howard that's going to be incomplete a lot of contact no flag brings up third down and remember the last time these teams met it came right down to the wire well Chris there's so many great rivalry games and we all look forward to every single year but with these two teams it just always seems to be a tight matchup after the second down incompletion, I have to convert here on third down and eight. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Running back has it on the screen now. And they bring him down. Blocker's not much help on the screen there. He's short of the first down. The offense gets some positive yards here, but they're going to be short of the first down marker to set up fourth down. Really good job by the defense of tackling and the awareness to keep him short of that first down marker. So they'll settle for a field goal attempt here. Field goal try, no good. With that miss, the score remains the same. Well, that's going to go down as an empty possession for this offense. No points as he's off target. 
And now you can see he's hanging his head for a kicker. And the Penn State offense is back out on the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. And they put something together in this drive. Quarterback keeps the football. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Loss of two. Second down coming up. Important second down play coming up. They'll keep it on the ground with the draw play. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. Well, Kirk, you played in plenty of rivalry games. How do they feel different from the others? Well, Chris, rivalry games, and, and depending on who the coach is, this is a game you think about all year. You know, you're working out in the weight room. You're doing drills in summer two-a-days. Everything is focused on getting to this game and playing your very best. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. Can't hold on. Good defensive play brings up a fourth down. Well, it looked like the quarterback had everything that he needed there. Had great protection. Receiver ran a nice route. Just not able to convert there on that third down. Let's see what their decision is on fourth down coming up. And the Nittany Lions will bring their punt team on the field now. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. He'll call for the fair catch here. And the Ohio State offense comes back onto the field. They need something out of this possession. The last time they settled for a field goal attempt, but then they missed it. Looks to the left for a quick throw. And it's complete. What a grab by the receiver right near the sideline. Nice play action call here by this offensive coordinator. You, know, you can freeze those linebackers just for a second. And the replay booth has signaled they want to stop and have another look at this one. Looks like they got the ruling on the field right the first time. They confirm it with the review. And the wideout goes in motion. Looking to throw it on first down. Caught over the middle. It's Tate. We see this all over the country now in college football. Defensive back staying back a little bit deeper, forcing the quarterback to have to throw things in front. I like the decision here by the quarterback because he gets positive yards. It's a good way of staying ahead of the chains. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Looking to pass. It's Howard. Fires it to the wideout. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. Touchdown, Buckeyes. It was a foot race and he won it. And Kirk, how important is that to get off to a positive start to draw first blood in a rivalry game like this? Well, Chris, as you know, in a rivalry game, there's so much emotion. So to be able to put a touchdown on the board first just sets the tone for a big day. Now the all-important extra point. And the PAT makes it 7-0 to open scoring. That makes the score for Ohio State 7 and State 0. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. Fields it just outside the goal line. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And the Nittany Lions offense retakes the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. But they can't make the connection. Ball's incomplete. Offense getting set. It's second down. A quick throw out left complete. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain in that completion. Well, anytime an offensive coordinator calls a wide receiver screen, he's trying to get offensive linemen out in front of the receiver to create a wall so that receiver can pick a lane to run through. 
How about the defense here, though? That's called team pursuit and swarming to the football. They didn't give him any lanes, so not much yards downfield for the receiver. The short completion of the tight end. Big man finally brought down by the cornerback. That was a tough assignment. Chris, great effort here by this defense to keep him short of the first down. Now they've got a tough decision to make here on this fourth down and short. The Nittany Lions will have to punt this one away. On to punt it away. And it's taken at the 25. Good effort by the return man. They get him down, but that's a solid gain in the return. Here comes the Buckeye offense onto the field. They scored a touchdown in their last possession. Let's see what this defense can make adjustments and prevent that this time. Finds that big tight end for a short pass. Stop right near midfield. It'll be a first down. Well, this is what coaches love to see. A quarterback with the ability to read the defense properly and then just get it to the open man. Sometimes it sounds simple, but it's tough to execute. This time we have good recognition by the quarterback. Then he gets it down to the tight end. You can see what he can do after the catch. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. And looking to throw now on first down. He pulls it in for a big game. An explosive play moves the ball all the way down near the 25-yard line. Boy, what a throw and catch again by the Ohio State Buckeye offense. You think about how Ohio State has been able to really grow over the years. Go back and think about Chris Carter back in the 80s and Joey Galloway in the 90s. And, of course, most recently with Garrett Wilson and Chris Olave, Jackson Smith and Jigba. So many great receivers, and it's been fun to watch this young man today. Grab down the middle. It's a tape. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. This offense has become a first down machine, and that's so demoralizing for a defense especially for those star players who don't sub out as much. But the fourth quarter really starts to wear you out. The Buckeyes starting a new series here on first and ten. Looking to throw it from the red zone. That's reeled in. It's Scott. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. Boy, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game so here comes second down now every play important down here in the red zone he hands it off from the gun and he's finally tackled out the two yard line you know offensive linemen are just a certain breed they're always going to do their job no matter who's back there carrying the ball I'll tell you what they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big-time runs. That makes him block just a little bit harder knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. They'll try to run it in on first and goal. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Oh, it is tough to run the football inside this five-yard line. Give all the credit to that defensive line, eating up those linemen, allowing the rest of the defense to fly to the football for that short loss. Second down and goal, upcoming. Back to throw. It's Howard looking to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Ohio State. Boy, this guy has a knack for the end zone, doesn't he? That's two touchdowns for this guy today, and I don't know if he's done yet. So they'll try to add to the lead now with a PAT. With the extra point, the lead is 14. That makes the score Ohio State 14 and State 0. Now they get set to kick it away. Set to advance on the football. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Penn State offense comes back on the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. 
it's a one-yard game, second and nine coming up. Yeah, the defense coordinator this week all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Takes the handoff on the counter play. They'll tackle him right at the 25-yard line. When you can get good chunks of yardage like this on early downs, it just keeps you on schedule, leading to more manageable third-down situations. Never underestimate the value of consistently getting four more yards a pop like that. So the offense faces a third and manageable here from the 25-yard line. Looking downfield, it's Aller. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Tackle made at the 41. That's a nice game. They're getting closer to the 50. Well, when you play zone defense on third down and you don't get pressure from your defensive line, you're going to give a quarterback a lot of time to be able to find an open receiver and eventually get the first down. Not surprised at all that they're able to convert. Offense keeps moving. It's a completion for a first down. From the shotgun, drops back. He's wrapped up nicely there by the freshman. And here the tight end shows off his hands for a nice game. Love to see the big man get his touches. Second down play coming up for this offense. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. The pass is intercepted. Not much on the return there, but a great interception to give the offense the football at the 42. Oh, Chris, against zone coverage like that and the ball thrown deep down the middle of the field, you've got to layer that throw in. Very challenging throw, requires a nice touch with a strong arm, and the quarterback that time just did not make the throw. So here comes the first play of the drive. They'll begin at the 42. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Fires it to the wide out. He's got his man in the open field. Tackle after a solid gain. It's enough for a first down, and that should wrap up the first quarter of play. Well, Ohio State has the lead here, Kirk. They jumped out to an early lead in that opening period. Let's take a quick look at the stats so far. We'll see if this game gets out of hand before halftime, the crucial second quarter beginning right now. Thrown quickly, caught in the right flat. And he'll get the first down yards before they finally bring him down. Chris, I cannot believe we're still in the first half. This guy's already got a couple touchdowns. Now he's adding to his receiver total here by picking up another first down and more yards. Buckeyes are in the red zone. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. Here comes a throw from the red zone. And it's incomplete. He just missed his target overthrowing it. You know, I, I like the quarterback's patience here. And instead of trying to force the issue and squeeze the ball into coverage, he just decides to just basically throw it away and live for the next down. Offense facing a second and ten. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. That was that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time, the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. To throw, it's Howard. Delivers from the pocket, complete over the middle. Touchdown, Buckeyes! Still no answer for this offense. This guy can do it all. We've seen him go behind coverage and make plays downfield. We can see him catch the ball underneath, just like this. And when he catches a football, he is so dangerous after the catch. This one leads him into the end zone for the six points.
So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. They convert the PAT, so the lead is now 21. That makes the score. Ohio State, 21, and Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. Fielded in the end zone. It's Singleton. Tackle at the 12 with Coach Bushes and left that one in the end zone. And the Penn State offense is back out on the field. We'll see if this quarterback can shake off the interception he threw in the last possession. And they make the stop to get the ball carrier down. I mean, Chris, you have to admire this offense. They continue to try to sprinkle in the run game, even though it's not been able to really get established. But they're not just becoming one-dimensional. you got to respect that. And hopefully at some point it'll pay off. The Nittany Lions looking to crank up the tempo a bit. On the ground, it's Singleton. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. Damn, this defense continues to just be physical at the line of scrimmage. Offense can't do anything on the ground, and by doing that, this defense is allowing their defensive front to get pressure on the quarterback. Every time they drop back the throw, they become a one-dimensional offense. Looking to pass, it's Aller. It's a deep throw down the right sideline. And the pass is dropped. It would have been a big game, but he couldn't hold on. Well, Chris, obviously they had to go through the air there to try to pick up this third down and long. But when you're so far behind the chains, boy, you really allow this defense to dictate things. And it allows him to put pressure on your quarterback and can affect the timing, as we saw in this play. Gets the kick away from his own end zone. He'll field it close to midfield. The returner is brought down. Gets a starter with the next drive. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. This group has been clicking. They've really built momentum. Can the defense make adjustments? Come up with a stop here. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front of the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. Second down play coming up. They're going to run it. Able to pick up just a couple of yards. That's good run defense. That game sets up a third down play. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Quarterback escapes the pocket. They make the first down, brought down to the 31. Boy, this guy can do it all. We know what he can do with his arm, but when things aren't there, does a good job of pulling it down, knowing where the first down marker is, picking up the first down. The Buckeyes will line up on first and 10. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. Now they'll switch it up, looking to throw the ball here. It's a quick grab. Defense reacts quickly, a very short gain on the play. The quarterback looks downfield to make this throw. He wants to be able to get the ball to be able to pick up enough yards for a first down. But instead, he gets the ball at least underneath to the drag route and gets some positive yards. Now it's second down here. The shotgun handoff here. He stopped, but he gets a first down. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. The Buckeyes pick up enough yardage for a first down. Quarterback pulls the ball. It's a keeper. The junior able to bring him down quickly. Not exactly the outcome this offense was hoping for here on the option. They'll give them credit. They didn't lose anything, so it wasn't a negative play. But this kind of play's got to be able to hit big and get down the sidelines for big yards. Second down after that run on the previous play. 
Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Looking for six. And he will score. Touchdown, Ohio State. Kicking team out for the PAT drive. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they get set to send this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Nittany Lions offense retakes the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? Back to throw. It's Aller. Catch made on the right side. And the broken tackle there produces a solid game. Well, this is why they want to get his hands on the football as often as possible. We always know about his ability to make plays downfield, but here they just get to him quick on a wide receiver screen. He shakes the tackle and picks up nice yards. Getting set. Here's second down. They'll run it here. They stop him, but it's a first down. Well, another short game for this offense on the ground, and you got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They have really negated that aspect of this offense the entire first half and really making them one-dimensional. And if that doesn't change, I don't know how they get back into this game. It's a solid run. Gives the offense a first down and a new set of downs. Same tailback, another carry. The gain is three. Now it's second down and seven. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively, but what I've been always impressed with, the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Back now goes in motion. Defense will have to adjust. That's caught. It's Fleming. They tackle him at the 43, but that's enough for a first down. Looks like a man is down on the field after the last play, so we'll take a timeout. A new set of downs after that completion. Pre-snap motion from the offense. The shotgun running play call. It's exactly what you want to see as a play caller. You get positive yards to be able to kind of keep you on schedule as a play caller. That's all you can ask for. Good job up front and a nice run. Second down after that run on the previous play. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. And they'll stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. The putter has been very busy so far. Can they finally convert here on third down? Scanning the field. It's Aller. And they'll loft this one deep to the left side. And it's incomplete. They let it fly on third down, but now it brings up fourth. Man, on your own side of the field, you're playing a risky game here, third and short. Your goal should just be keep this drive alive the best way you can sometimes is just hand the ball off to your running back and have him get behind that offensive line and go to work. Curious to see what they do now here on this fourth and short. They'll kick it away here. Oh, and it lands at the four and bounces in for a touchback. Here comes the powerful Buckeye offense back onto the field. A beautiful, balanced drive reached the end zone last time. Can they keep it going here? That game moves the ball out through the 25. Nice, solid run here by this back. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane, pick up some positive yards there on first and 10. 
What's the play call here on second down for this offense? It's a run to the left. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. He breaks the two-minute warning here. Let's see if this offense can build on this big lead before halftime. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. Airing this one out toward the sideline. Deep ball is caught for a huge gain here. Out of bounds, but not before a huge gain. Offense gets a fresh set of downs. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. Let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big game. Buckeyes getting set on first and ten. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Let's it go quickly. Finds a man downfield. That's a big game to the right. And the game just good enough for a first down. Yeah, you know this defense has got to be frustrated after giving up multiple conversions now on first downs. There's another one. But for the offense, man, they're just playing very efficiently right now. New set of downs for the offense, first and ten. To throw, it's Howard. There's a shot toward the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Buckeyes. You put five wide receivers into a formation that puts so much pressure on the defense. Do you have enough guys that can cover? The quarterback does such a good job of finding the weakness and exploiting it. And they get set now to try the PAT. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. That makes the score Ohio State 35, Penn State 0. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. Set to kick it off. And here's the return from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19th. Good job by the coverage team. And the Penn State offense comes back on the field. This has been a rough first half. They'll have to regroup in intermission. But in the meantime, let's see if they can get some momentum going. That's going to be incomplete. The first down drop here in the middle of the field. Second down after that previous play. Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. Catch hauled in here over the middle. Tackle is made just a short gain after the completion. Again, this is a really nice job here by the defense, keeping everything in front of them in that situation. Now they're rewarded with this third and long. We'll see if they do the same thing here, or they can sell out and bring the pressure. Back to pass. It's Aller. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. The timeout is called important stage late here in the second quarter. Completion good for first down yardage for this offense. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. Heads out of bounds as a short gain on the play. Good time here to drop this screen in by the offensive coordinator. And a nice job by the running back being able to pick up some positive yards here on this play. Here's the second down play. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun looking for a receiver. And it's complete downfield. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play. Defense kind of lost the running back here. Makes a nice catch and gets the first down in the process. About time this offense gets going. It's a first and ten. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. Defense is coming after him. Got him for a sack. A big play made by one of the senior leaders of this defense. 
The offense calls a timeout here. That's their third and final of the half. That sack sets up a second down and very long. And looking for a big play here. And this is dropped. Would have been a huge game, but he could not collect it. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out the punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, he's unable to hold on to the football. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but it is third down and long. Offense looking to throw the ball. The sure hands, it's Singleton. The defense stops him short of the marker, so it's fourth down coming up. The quarterback had a lot of time to evaluate this defense, and most of his reads downfield appeared to be taken away, so he checks it down to his running back. And how about the way this defense Number just nine, runs five. to the football Johnson, to keep him nine. short of that first down? Great job by the D. Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. The Buckeyes will kick it away to get us going in the second half. Fields it inside the five-yard line. Makes it with a 16. That's good coverage there. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. They've really built momentum in this game. They've been hard to stop. Can the defense make some adjustments? Come up with a stop here. Looking for the wide out. The defender gets a hand in there to break the pass up. Just a great play on the ball by the defensive back. Getting a hand on it and tipping it up into the air. Boy, anytime you see a tip go up, often that defense is thinking, interception. This one falls to the ground, but the next tip ball could be going the other way. Dropping back, it's Howard. And he's going to float this one to the right side. The downfield shot is incomplete. Brings up third down. Well, the defense better be aggressive here themselves. Clearly, we're seeing an approach by this offense that they're going to attack downfield. Probably saw something in the first half that they could take advantage of. They come out early and try to hit it for a big one. Well, it's been tough so far to get this drive going. Now they face third and 10 from inside their own 20. What's the call going to be? He makes the grab. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. Well, this quarterback is unflappable. Here they are working with the lead in the second half. Get to a third down. you got to throw the football. This is where you trust the quarterback to make a good decision, an accurate throw. He does it. You convert, and you keep working that clock. The Buckeyes come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. Using his legs, it's Henderson. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of the defense. Has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. Important second down play coming up. They snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. Caught over the middle. It's Smith and uses his speed to pick up solid yardage. Tackle made, but a strong arm throw by the senior quarterback. You talk about a memorable game for a wide receiver. This guy continues to show why he's one of the best in the country. Already three touchdowns on the day, and now just tacking on more yardage and a first down. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. And he's brought down after a short gain does not make the first down yardage. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Receiver in motion now. Dropping back. It's Howard. Receiver makes the catch. Finally out of bounds after a solid game, but there is a flag on the field. So let's check this out. 
And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. Buckeyes looking to keep this drive rolling. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Catch made on the right side. That's a big game. Boy, another nice completion by this quarterback and one of his receivers. You know, if I'm right, you look at this quarterback in this game alone, he's now over 350 yards. What a game for him. The Buckeyes are in the red zone. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Chris, they actually call a play that goes in the wrong direction. Seems like everything they've called is worked out, whether it's on the ground or through the air. And this time, the defense steps up and makes a play. Offense getting set. It's second down. Quarterback drops back. Grab down the middle. It's Scott. A big hit by the linebacker. Bicycle tackle there. Big versus big. That's what makes this tight end so dangerous. You can flex him out into that slot position. He shows his versatility. He can be an inline guy that can block, but here he shows you what he can do with his hands. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. He's moving out of the pocket now. On the move, but can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Well, that's the one thing about a guy that always feels that he can rely on his legs. He's always trying to make a play, and this time he just wasn't able to get away from the defense, and that is a big loss for the offense. So the decision is to not go for it, but settle for three. Here comes the field goal team. Nick is up and no good. That's just a minor blip. What's been a thoroughly dominating performance. That's a missed opportunity for some points here. The way they were moving the football, I thought maybe a touchdown at the very least three points, but instead he shanks it. State offense is back out on the field. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Off the play fake, looking to throw. It's a short completion at the big tight end. They're finally able to stop, and the quarterback brings the big man down. Not easy to do with that size difference. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. And they'll use the ground game here. Throws a stiff arm. That's good for a first down near the 40. Well, it's a nice job up front by the offensive line, but give the running back an assist for setting those blocks up before he's able to get downfield for the first down. First down and 10. Grab behind the line. It's Singleton. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. One thing I love about this back is how he gets involved in the passing game. Nice catch here. Second down play coming up for this offense. Here's the handoff. Tackle, but... First down. Sometimes I almost get mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, the eyes that carry their feet to the open space, making people miss. I just love watching those guys do work. And the Nittany Lions line up on first and ten now. Looking downfield, it's Aller. Gets made on the out route. They stop him after a six-yard game, so second and four. The key here, Chris, is the timing by the quarterback. The fact he got the ball out quickly gave his receiver a chance. One more hitch or a slight hesitation, and that's an incompletion or an interception. That completion makes it second and medium. Play action fake, looking to throw. 
That one falls incomplete. Looking for a flag, doesn't get it. Brings up third down. What a hit there by the defender. Tough for the receiver to hold on to the football when he has that kind of contact. Good, clean play by the defense. After the incompletion, they'll come to the line for a third and four. And he drops back in the gun. Caught over the middle. It's Fleming. And moves the ball to the 35. Another first down. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. Still looking for that elusive touchdown, but finally this offense is moving. First down and 10. Here comes a handoff. They get him down, but that's a solid game. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Second down play coming up. Motion by the back. Defense better adjust. Let's it fly out of the wide out. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. This quarterback on fire today. That's taking advantage of a matchup there, Chris, by the quarterback finding his receiver. He puts the ball up in the air where he can make a play on it. And they come up with that touchdown. See if they can convert the point after. And they make the extra point. Now 35-7. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. Number 91 sets a kickoff. Return starts from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. Here comes the powerful Ohio State offense onto the field. The last drive was a little demoralizing. They stalled and then missed a field goal. Contact as he let the ball go. And he pulls in the catch. They bring him down, but that is a huge play for this passing game. Big game. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the quarterback makes them pay for it. Solid gain, moves the ball up to the 47. It'll be first down. Again, thrown out of the RPO, and it's complete. Brought down, but the gain moves the ball all the way to the plus 42. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. From the shotgun, here's an inside give. And he's able to find some room before they finally bring him down. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice game like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave him a chance at a really nice game. Second down after that run on the previous play. Looking to throw. It's Howard. The throw complete to the running back underneath. And they wrap him up, but the gain is good enough for a first down. Well, the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. Good enough for a first down. The Buckeyes with first and ten here. Here's the snap, and he's looking to throw. Snags the quick throw. There's the tackle, but first down yardage. You talk about a dream football game at the college level. This guy's now over 400 yards passing today. Buckeyes move into the red zone.
from inside the red zone. They're looking to throw. And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. Intercepted in the end zone. Boy, this defense did exactly what they needed to do. Come up with a turnover here in the second half to get themselves back in the game. They get the interception. Now, can their offense come up with a way to cut into this lead? And the Nittany Lions offense retakes the field. On first down, it's play action. Quick throw to his receiver. Grab down the middle. It's Wallace. That game is good enough for a first down. Ball spotted at the 42. Anytime you have a sudden change like this, Chris, I love to see the idea of this quick strike. The defense barely really has a chance to get established and get set. Next thing you know, they're dealing with an offense that's coming right at them, trying to put points on the board. And notice how the balance of this passing game has been on display here. A whole bunch of guys getting involved, catching passes. That's tough to stop. And let's see if a comeback is in store here as we start the fourth quarter. The drive stays alive with that completion for a first down. Dropping back, it's Allen. The pass is incomplete. He dropped the first down attempt here across the middle. Incompletion sets up a second down. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. And he's got his bag open downfield. Oh, and he's free down the left side. Can they run him down? Finally, good for them. They come up with a big play like this. Let's face it, offense has been at a premium for these guys. You wonder where plays like this have been all game long. First and ten now for the offense. Snapping it from the red zone now. Looking to throw. Caught over the middle. Brought down at the five after the completion. Defense getting pushed back. Just a good job of spreading the wealth. Making sure everybody's getting their touches. When you do that, the defense can't lock in on one guy or two guys. Make them have to be aware of everybody and allows you to continue to spread the ball around and spread the field, making it tougher for this defense. First and goal, handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, they keep trying to run the football, and they keep getting dominated at the line of scrimmage. That has been a theme throughout this entire game. We've talked about it earlier in the game. It's not changing at all. they become one-dimensional, and I think it's allowed this defense to really lock in on that quarterback. Trying for the end zone, wanting it right up the gut. And he's swallowed up at the line. Could not get past that big defensive tackle. It's a nice play by this defense. And now you're thinking about third down and goal from around the five-yard line. you got a real shot to come up with a stop here. Whether they run it or throw it, you get a stop here and maybe hold them to three points. Here we go. Back in the red zone. 0 for 2 scoring touchdowns here so far. And it's third and goal. Oh, and he dropped it. He could not hang on for a touchdown. My goodness. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. they got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. A field goal here doesn't help. They're going to go for the six on fourth down. Back to pass. It's Aller bringing pressure. He's got it near the end zone. No, they've stopped him short. The defense with a big fourth down play to protect this lead late in the game. Looking for some space. It's Judkins. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. Defense does a really nice job here being able to contain that run game. Held him just in two yards. Chris, to me, this changes the playbook a little bit now for the offense. The guy calling the plays at second and eight, that's a different deal. Now he's got to probably think about going through the air instead of staying on the ground. Tailback with another carry. Defense gets him down, but they'll take the game on that play. Interesting play.
play call here. Third and short inside their own 20. They want to get this drive going, or a punt could give the opponents excellent field position. Tries to get it to the running back. Grab near the sticks. It's Henderson. Worked out of bounds, but it's another big game. This offense producing chunk plays through the air. Boy, this offensive line, you got to tip your cap. They've done everything you would ask of them in taking care of this quarterback. They do it again here on third down, working with that lead. You know the pressure's coming, and they deliver. The Buckeyes will have first and ten here. An inside give now from the shotgun. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. You know, I'd say this run is pretty emblematic of what we've seen all day long. No matter what they've done on offense, the guys up front have controlled the line of scrimmage. They've given a quarterback time to throw. They've been able to run, really, whatever they've wanted to. That's why the points are going up on the board. Right now, the psyche this offense is, we're in control, and we can do whatever we want, whatever we feel like doing. Now it's second down here. Offense will keep it on the ground here. And that's a solid gain for the defense able to bring him down. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and gets a nice solid gain. Third down play now, trying to keep this impressive drive going. Looks right for a quick completion. The game picks up the first down, tackled at the 37. Well, he's been their go-to guy all game long. They needed a big play there on third down. They go his way again, and it works out. It's a first and ten play coming up for the offense. Looks up three yards, so second and seven. Now, this is the eighth play on this drive. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. And just a short gain this time. They're able to get him down. On this drive, they converted twice on third down. They need six yards here. Dropping back, they're going to throw for the first down. With the catch, it's Abuka. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. They bring him down, but the veteran quarterback shows off that trademark arm strength. Well, why not, Chris? Here we are in the fourth quarter. It's third down. This guy's been making plays all game long. Go back to him again, and it works out. And the long drive continues. The offense pushing the ball down the field. Use that running game, trying to bleed the clock here. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. When well, these obvious running situations are very tough when you're working with the lead late in the game, because you know the defense is going to stack the line of scrimmage, make it as difficult as possible for you to run the football. So nice job there by the defense. They're trying to punch that ball out, do anything they can at all to get the ball back. To the air, it's Howard. Quick throw to the left. He's got it right near the end zone. Four set of bounds, but a nice gain there. And the offense will have a first and goal. Chris, another accurate throw by this quarterback. And this guy has just been on fire all game long. Over 200 yards passing. But more importantly, making great decisions for this offense and put them in a position to win this game. First and goal, they'll try to run it in. Couldn't quite get in, but they're knocking on the door at the one. Second down here. Time for one more play before the two-minute warning. 
And that's the two minute warning. This offense looking to run out the clock and secure an impressive win here today. Second down and goal. On the ground, trying to muscle it across the line. Touchdown, Ohio State. And the beatdown continues. This is just complete domination in every phase. Offense, defense, special teams. Fun to see for this team. Unfortunate on the other side. Now they line up to kick the extra point. PAT is good as they build on this big lead. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Number 38 set to kick this low. He'll return it from inside the five. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. And the Penn State offense comes back on the field. This has been a demolition, a monumental beatdown. Time to just put the controller down and walk away. Receiver makes the grab. They stop the receiver, but that's a solid gain in that play. Hey, there's the execution that's been lacking most of this game, but they'll take it. You know, you try to do everything that you can to learn and try to build for the future. And at this point in the game, it's obviously over, but you love to see the offense coordinator still giving this quarterback opportunities. Looking to throw. It's Allen. Short connection to the tight end here. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. Not huge yards, but all that matters is he catches the ball, secures it, and picks up first down yardage. How aggressive do you get on first and ten? Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. Cut quickly. Tackled quickly after the catch. He'll be short of the mark. Well, playing with the lead, good job by this defense to keep the receiver in bounds. Try to keep that clock moving, trying to secure a victory. Getting set. Here's second down. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. They've got him. It's a sack for the defense. It is a sack party out there for this defense. Everything going their way. You know that this offense is going to try to throw the football down by such a big margin late in the game. And this defensive line is bringing the heat. They come up with another sack. Offense facing a third and long from the 28. Got to have your pass protection in order on this play. Fires it to the wideout. It's caught downfield. And the game just good enough for a first down. Really good job here of converting by this offense. And let's face it, at this point in the game, because they have such a big hole to climb out of, they've got to be able to convert and come up with a new set of downs. They do it here. Now they got a real shot to cut into this lead. The Nittany Lions begin a new series here, first and ten. Nowhere to run. They'll corral him for no game. 